Hey guys, my name is and this is Cobra. Welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Discord or Prime Music Bot for your server today. We are on the last video of the main series, of course, there will be a request segment and an FAQ video and all that stuff, but this is the last video of everything that was planned, at the very least. Um, <clears throat> today we are going to be talking about repeating tracks. Now the reason I did split the shuffle on the repeat is that there is quite a lot of stuff to do here. We do need to modify some existing stuff, we need to create quite a number of new functions, so I just felt it would be better to split them into two videos. So what we're going to do first, as always, is we're going to create our command. This command is a little bit different to the others, but not too much. Um, I just realized I put, I put this in the wrong place. <laughs> That's an interesting one. Um, so that can just go below there. There you go. Might as well fix that while I'm here. Uh, so the final version doesn't have that weird thing to put anywhere. Uh, so we're going to set a command called repeat. And, uh, well, actually, before I... Uh, go too hard into this. I should probably explain what sort of functionality I'm going to be building. So, as I've said throughout the series, this is an MP3 emulator rather than anything else. Uh, of course, different bots do it in different ways. Um, and MP3 players and, and phone apps and stuff have repeat modes. So, generally, you get none, one, and all. Where none just doesn't repeat anything, one repeats the same track over and over again, and all repeats the entire queue. This is what we're going to be emulating today. Um, so we have our repeat command, self ctx, and then we want a mode, which is just going to be a string. Um, if mode, whoops, it is. If mode not in, uh, and then we're going to set that to be none, one, and all. Uh, we're going to raise invalid repeat mode, which we're going to define up the top. Um, which is just the same as every other error. It just allows us to do some some custom error handling. Um, valid repeat mode, and that needs to be two spaces. Let's not mess that up again. <laughs> uh, Pepe, woo. Um, so we come back down here, and we do the rest of the commands again. There's not a lot. We're just outsourcing the, the functionality to the queue again. So we're doing self dot get player ctx. We are doing uh, player dot Q.set repeat mode. Um, and then we're going to set to mode. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to copy paste this line for the notes because I'm pretty sure this message is quite long. Okay, maybe not as long as I thought. We're just going to send a message saying uh, the repeat mode has been set to mode and then whatever the mode is. Using F strings. Woo. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to come up to the top and we're actually going to add a new class. This is going to be a very simple and easy class, it's going to be called uh, repeat mode and it's going to be set as an enum. Now we need to do from, where is it, from enum import enum. Now enums are in short just slightly different ways of doing dictionaries so instead of us doing, instead of us uh, referencing something like repeat mode, oops, uh, repeat mode um, all or something we can do uh, repeat mode dot none or, or whatever it might be or it actually be all caps and this will allow us to just it's essentially just a different way of doing integers it just makes states a lot easier to work with so it might be easier to explain what's I've done this so we're gonna set none equals to none one equals to one and all equal to two so essentially this just sets these things as an integer. So um, repeat mode dot none equals zero. This is true. Uh, this is a true statement. So we can, uh, it's basically just for use in if statements. So we can do, we could, we could, we could do if repeat mode equals zero, if repeat mode equals one, if repeat mode equals two if you wanted. But enums just allow for extra readability. And there are some other cool things you could do as well. We don't need to do any of that advanced functionality. We just kind of want it for, for this because it's just the easiest way of doing it. It's essentially an alternative to, to, uh, to a dictionary, pretty much. So in the queue itself, we are actually going to set the repeat mode uh, when the queue is initialized to repeat mode dot none. Uh, so repeat mode dot none indicates that the queue will not repeat. Then we need to come down into our set repeat mode, uh, which is 
I'm going to put it underneath the shuffle. Um, set repeat mode, self and then mode. Now what we can do here is we can either do a series of if statements or we can use a dictionary. I'm just going to do if statements to make things easier. Uh, but you can do kind of uh, fake switch statements with dictionaries if you want to. Um, we're not going to bother with that just because we've already implement, we've already um, introduced enums into the equation, and I don't want to like massively confuse anyone. So we're just going to uh, go through all these things and just set the repeat mode as as you would expect, really. So the only different one seemingly. Actually, no, not, that's not even the case. Because um, you could just do repeat mode dot all. And this is how we set our repeat mode. So we need to then use that in the get next track to actually work out whether or not we should repeat the queue. Uh, so we do need to, this needs to be an elif now. And we do need if self dot position. Actually, I'm not sure if we, we do need this. But it's in the notes. I may have skipped this before. Um, it's in the notes, and I don't remember if it works without this. Um, if, if this if the, uh, this stage in the process works without this, so I know that works. I'm just going to include it in there. So if self dot position is greater than self dot q minus one, that hasn't changed. Uh, we need to do a second if statement. Say if self dot repeat mode uh, equals repeat mode dot all. We need to set the position back to zero, otherwise we don't do anything. So essentially if the repeat mode is all, then obviously we need to go back to the first element of the track, which is why we do the queue the way we do, where we store all the previous tracks as well. So we can't do this repeat mode, just set the position back to zero, and it will just play the next track. And everything will be groovy. The next thing we need to do is we need to head into our player object, and we need to create a method, a very simple method down at the bottom, uh, below advance or anywhere really, um, just called repeat track. Give that a self, and just do await self dot play, and then just get the um, the current track. So this will just play the same song again because we're not uh, editing the cue position at all. We're just getting the current track, and we're we're playing that one again. And after that we need to come into our onplayer stop and we need to make modifications to this too. So we need to check if the, the payload uh, dot player dot q dot repeat mode is uh, repeat mode dot one. And if it is, then we need to do uh, await payload. Oh my god, I'm not used to so used to type and player at this point. Um, if it is, we just need to repeat the track. Otherwise, we need to advance the player. And I'm pretty sure that is it now. So we should just be able to get that to work. Um, it's a bit of a, it's, yeah, it's a bit of a complicated one to get working, but theoretically speaking, that should just work fine now. Uh, so the repeat mode, by default, is set to none. Oh god, I keep dropping my headphones all over the place, sorry about that. <laughs> it's amazing they're not broken yet. Um, and we are going to just essentially do a load of tests to make sure that, that everything works correctly. So for now I'm just going to play this and I'll see you, uh, I'll come back when the song has finished and we'll see if the playback just stops. We got an error, that's interesting. Well it didn't technically play the next track, but I guess we're missing a return none. Um, which is, where even is that? It's in the get next track, so I guess here I guess we can do an else return none, perhaps um, and that should cause issues, because of course we uh, exceeded the length of the queue, the self to repeat mode is not repeat all so it skipped that and I guess it just tried to get the queue and it just broke, oh yeah, because it, it upped the, uh, the position by one so we could just return none out of that and that is fine. Okay, cool. If that still errors, let me know, but that shouldn't error. So now we're going to run the same experiment again, except we're going to set the repeat mode to 1 and see if it plays um, 
uh, this song again. So I'm going to load up this one this time. You can tell I really like bad snacks, can't you? <laughs> and then we're going to set repeat one. Nope, not repeat one. Repeat one. The repeat mode has been set to one, so we'll see if that works. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the track now, so we will see if it repeats for us. It did! Fantastic, we actually got something to work. So we're going to add something else to the um, queue now. Gonna add this one back in. We're going to skip this track. First we're going to set the repeat mode to all. Uh, repeat all. Then we're going to skip the track. There we go. And... I'll let it play naturally again just to make absolutely sure, but we will see if we get back to the Bad Snack song after this song is done. There's a lot of waiting for me in this episode, apparently. <laughs> and... There we go. So... <laughs> that's so much waiting to do, oh my god. Um, but yeah, we proved that our repeat system works. And that we can do repeat one or repeat all or repeat none. And that brings us to the end of the main part of the series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any requests, or requests sorry, then feel free to leave them in the comments below or join the Discord server and leave them in the, uh, not that one, the video request channel here. This is where you put all your video requests. Or for your Patreon, you get prioritized ones here. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the series. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, or you can join the Discord server, this Discord server, using the link in the description. Uh, while you're down there, have a load of social links, so if you want to follow me on Twitter or Facebook or something like that, then feel free to do so down there. But yeah, that brings us to the end of the video. If you liked it, then so down below. If you really liked it, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And if you really, really liked it, then consider supporting my Patreon. Of course, you don't have to, but really cool thing you to do. With that in mind, I'll let's have my super patrons, Darkie and Jackster. And I'll see you next time where we do whatever they may be. I'm not sure the series is over now. It will probably be either some sort of update video or the SQL video or something like that. Whichever one of those comes first. Um, but yeah, whatever it may be, I'll see you for that.